What's up everybody, it's Mr. Barnes here. I'm gonna get into some geography, patterns and trends, the difference between a pattern and a trend. So the most basic definition is a pattern is a repetitive sequence of things, okay? Whereas a trend actually is something that, something that changes over time, all right? And when we look at it in the most general sense, a pattern is something which we see maybe on the tiles of a floor. You know, if this pattern here, for example, was to continue on in any direction, it would just repeat, okay, that repetitive sequence of things. Whereas a trend, as you can see here, there's fashion trends through the years. It's kind of blurry, but you should get the idea, all right? These trends, these fashion trends, have changed over time. So we see different fashion trends changing throughout the years. All right, what does this mean for geography, however? Well, oftentimes when you're looking at different patterns, you're looking at um, regions or um, groups of countries. So for example, if we look at the pattern of fertility rates amongst countries, you'll notice that the highest fertility rates in the world are found in your least developed countries of the world, least economically developed countries of the world. Okay? Whereas, your lowest fertility rates are found in the most developed countries in the world. So that would be the pattern, okay? So pattern in the exam uses the words tend to. So for example, um, more economically developed countries tend to have lower fertility rates, okay? Let's compare that to trends now, for example, something that changes over time. We'll take a look at the Philippines fertility rate now, individual countries, sorry. This has to do with more individual countries, less broad sense, okay? So again, we look at Philippines fertility changing over time. We see an overall decline, sorry, an overall decline in fertility. You can see that the fertility of the Philippines, here being blue, okay, has declined basically over time. All right? And that essentially is the difference between a pattern and a trend. What you'll see on the exam for describing trends is something like this, an XY graph having you describe the overall trend, in this case, again, a decline. And what you'll see for patterns is you'll see, again, more regional. Uh, you'll have to say, for example, this is a coral pleth map of infant mortality rates, and you'd have to describe the, the general pattern that occurs. So in your more developed countries, you see lower infant mortality, whereas in your less developed countries, you'll see higher infant mortality. And that's pretty much it, the difference between a pattern and a trend in geography. Now let me get back to watching Prince Fielder highlights from 2012. Thank you very much.